my name is Liz. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a really fun video. I'm actually going to be testing out two different products. I'm going to be testing out the All Nighter uh, setting spray, the OG All Nighter setting spray by Urban Decay. Com I'm going to compete with the Milk setting spray. I did get this smaller version just to test it out. Which one lasts all day on my face? I'm going to do a 12 hour wear test. So I want to see which one is the best in the game. Then please keep watching. Alrighty guys, let's get right into it. First off, we're gonna have the we have the all nighter setting spray. It's one of my favorite setting sprays of all time. If I want my makeup to last forever, bulletproof, amazing. Like I just feel like this is the best in the game so far. But I, I hear I hear great things about the milk one, so I really wanted to compare the two. The full size of this is going for $42 Canadian, and the mini size of this is $20 for 30 milliliters. This is an award-winning lightweight setting and finishing spray that keeps makeup fresh, smudge-proof, and transfer-resistant for up to 16 hours. We are going to try it out for 12 hours, but this has, this has a claim of 16 hours. This is for the skin type of normal, dry, combination, oily. It's also waterproof. It's, it's a natural finish and it's vegan. This was the Allure Best of Beauty in 2020. I mean, it is. It's an OG product. It's one of, I would say, the best setting sprays out there so far. I love this spray. I've been using it for years, so let's get right into it. Uh, we're going to put this guy right here to the, we're going to use our right, my right, or I'm going to use the, the Urban Decay setting spray. And then we're just going to move our hair back a little bit. I like to shake all my setting sprays, not only this one. I'm just gonna go just half my face. So, already, it just looks natural and it just sets your face. Nothing, it doesn't have any like glowiness or anything, it just sets your face. Looks very nice. Um, I know this product, I've been using it for years and I absolutely love it. So we're gonna do again a wear test. I'm gonna be checking in throughout the day and seeing how it is. So next we're gonna try out the Milk uh, Makeup uh, Grip Set and Refresh Spray. This is very popular right now all over TikTok. People are just talking about this product. So I was really curious about it. It does have like a two consistency in it. So you kind of have to shake it. So this guy right here, this is the smaller size. It's going for $24. And this is for a 50 mil. Full size is going for $48 for 100 milliliters, and that's Canadian. I do like to get the smaller sizes because I have so many setting sprays right now. I mean, hey, if I love it, I will definitely buy the full size, but I just have so many that I feel like a setting. This is good enough for me. So it's an alcohol free dual phase setting and refreshing spray that sets makeup up to 12 hours. So it do this one has the claim of 12 hours, up to that is. And it's for it hydrates the uh, skin and provides visible, breathable, glassy glow, which sounds delicious. When I look for products, I look for something that's radiant, that's glowy. I love a nice glowy skin, uh, skin because I do have a very dry skin, so my skin is automatically pretty mattifying. Uh, this is for the skin time nor normal, dry, uh, combination, and oily. Not wa it's not waterproof, by the way. So I, I wanted to mention that this claims that it's waterproof. Um, this is hydrating, it's vegan also, and it's a radiant finish, which again, I really love. And this is a clean product. This is the first time I will be using this product. I've never used it before. I will be placing it on my left side. Shake that again. And it kind of looks like this. Well, this one looks like this. Really cute, actually. I really like the milk. I love the blue of it. It's really cool. So we're going to move this, we're going to go right into the halfway zone and will my face look so much different because <laughs> this one says it's radiant so it's like one side's mattified. I can already tell the difference, this one definitely looks more high, wet I guess, <laughs> this one mattified pretty fast so we'll see. But I do hear crazy reviews. Actually, my skin looks good for both. This one's a little more uh, radiant. I use a radiant primer, so I mean, <laughs> that could be also this. But you can tell that this side is a little more radiant. It looks really nice, though. And this side, 
a little more mattifying, but it's still radiant because I do use a radiant primer. Um, so we'll see what the hype is. Which one will take the cake again? This is my left side, the milk, and my right side is the all nighter. And we're gonna test it out the whole day. And we're gonna go all about our day and see which one takes the cake because I don't know, I hear crazy things about this right now. It's super hyped. So I'm really excited to try it out. Anyways, guys, I'll see you later. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So let's see how it's going. I forgot to mention that I ended up uh, putting the... Uh, I sprayed my face around 6.30 a.m. And it's currently 12.30 p.m. right now. So we've done uh, at least five hours. So let's see how it's going. So my makeup does look intact. I do see some, I don't know, breakage right here, my makeup, which I don't usually ever have. By the way, this is the ma makeup, sorry, the milk makeup sec side. It looks good. It definitely has more of a dewy finish. Maybe it's because I did spray a little too much, but overall it looks pretty good. Let's check the Urban Decay. So far, I feel like this side looks a little better. I do like this side. Uh, what I like about the Urban Decay is that it starts to melt into your skin, so it's not fully matte, which I prefer. Um, overall, I don't think there's a huge difference. I do feel like there's more like overall coverage on this side. Well, there isn't as much on this side. I don't know if you can see that. But I do like both of them. So far, they're pretty good. Um, I do wear a mask, a mask all day for work. I got off a little early today, so, um, and I have to admit, I should have showed the mask, but I don't have it anymore. But this side of my face was, there was less product on the Urban Decay side on my mask. I wish I had it to give proof because it's crazy, but this side had more product. But again, this is more of a radiant finish. It's supposed to still make your makeup last really long. But anyways, we're gonna check in and we're gonna do one last check in at the end of the day and the end of the 12 hours. I'm actually gonna be taking a nap. Okay, I'm gonna take a nap with my makeup on. I know that's disgusting, but I feel like that's a real test. Can I sleep with this makeup and how will it look after I fall asleep? So again, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is the Milk Makeup, uh, what is it called? The Set It, the Grip Set and Refresh. So, hmm, we shall see. So guys, in 12 hours, I will come and check up, check in again, or in seven hours after my nap. <laughs> I'm not gonna take a long nap, but I mean, I'm gonna keep it on till the rest and see if the nap does anything to hold this makeup. I do not suggest sleeping with ma your makeup, obviously, but we're trying to test this out and I wanna take a nap. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm having one of those Tuesdays, all right? So I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I'm an absolute mess. I won't lie. I just literally placed, put my clothes back on. I was chilling at home. I took a nap. So let's just see how this <laughs> lasted after a nap, <laughs> a bit of a workout and a full day. So it's been 12 hours exactly. And I feel pretty gross. I feel like, I, I don't know, just after taking that nap, I just wanted to like, I don't sleep with my makeup ever ever i never do i'm really good i do my full skincare routine even if i had a little too much to drink i literally am that person i'll wash my whole face and do my skincare routine so my hair is a mess right now anyways guys let's look up close and see what's happening here so i have to admit considering i took a nap <laughs> it's been 12 hours my face looks pretty good on both sides I already know, again, I've been testing out the Urban Decay for maybe six to seven years. I've been using that religiously. That was one of the only setting sprays I used for quite some time until I started to do YouTube and like experiment with more uh, makeup products. But that was literally my basic product that I had when I had barely any makeup, you know? So obviously I love my Urban Decay side. It's beautiful. It looks amazing. It still looks intact. I feel like it is getting a little oily which is weird i don't know i don't get oily because i'm dry but i don't know if it's because i i slept or whatnot um it's also winter here so it's super dry um but i feel like both sides are kind of showing that dewness which again i love so i don't mind 
Um, as for right over here, I think it's actually <laughs> blended in a bit better. Uh, I did say that I had issues with hair breaking in, but for some reason, as it sits on my face, it looks better. This is again the makeup, sorry, the uh, milk makeup side. Everything else looks pretty good. I don't wear foundation, just a heads up. I do wear bronzer, blush, highlighter, and concealer around the face. So I, I the eye makeup looks really good. I am using Natasha Denona eyeshadow, so I feel like her eyeshadow stays really well on my eyes anyways. My eyebrows still look great. I was trying to sleep like <laughs> on my back so that I wouldn't ruin any side, but I'm more of a Urban Decay <laughs> side sleeper like I always sleep on this side of my face which is the right side but it doesn't look bad actually and um, truthfully I like both but I think I just need to test out the milk uh, makeup a little more to see what I really think of it I feel like you need to test out setting sprays a few times because it does look good. Maybe I'll try it without a hydrating or, sorry, a, a radiant primer because I am wearing a, almost a luminous primer right now. So I think that's what's coming out right now, mostly because this is a luminous primer. I definitely think that if you're looking for more of a hydrating, uh, more of a, like a, just like a luminous primer, uh, sorry, setting spray, maybe go with this one. It, it does look like it lasts a really long time. And I did test it really well. I, I took a nap. Again, I, I, I worked out. I feel gross, okay? I literally just put my clothes back on. I just need a wash. I feel gross, okay? Like, I took a nap, went to work, and I had a gym. So I went to a gym class. And so, like, really, this is uh, the full uh, test. I think, what else are you going to test it for? But, I, again, I have dry, dry skin and... Um, not combination it's just dry so for me I don't usually have the most um, I feel like makeup lasts decently well on me even without setting spray but I always set it because I, I liked something that kind of melts my makeup into my skin because with dry skin you don't want that like cakey almost makeup sitting on your skin and not melting into your skin look which I find I have the issue with because I have dry skin so I feel like a setting spray is really essential for me and I mostly use this when I do go on if I have if I know I have the longest day or a special occasion like a wedding or something like that I always go to this but I feel like this is more of a daily thing I would probably use this daily because I love the hydration um, and it's great that it's lasts long too and I want you to show you actually look at how it split because I haven't been using it so see how there's two tones right here so make sure to shake it before using it I don't know if that makes a difference or whatnot but very much really like this and I highly recommend it if you're looking for more of a hydrating uh, luminous setting spray but if you're looking for something that's more mattifying they do have a luminous one maybe I should have tested it with this but I felt like this is the OG setting spray this one right here like literally it is the best in the game okay and I still love it I feel like so far I've used thousands thousands and I still run to this one right here but I'm happy to say that this is a great one. I have to admit, Milk Makeup hasn't really um, excited me. Uh, I have tried a lot of their products and I haven't been wowed by their products. I feel like you're either obsessed with Milk Makeup or you're not. I don't think there's like in the middle. But I do like their um, their gripping primer, like the one that kind of looks like this, but the primer. I really like that one and this product so hey maybe there's some things that I might like for milk makeup but I will definitely I am gonna be adding this to my setting spray collection and I will be using it and I'm happy to have it but we'll see if I'll buy the full size in this because I feel like you need to test it a little longer but anyways guys that that is pretty much it I think that for now because this is the cheaper alternative because again this is a $42 product well this full size is $48 so let me just see actually yeah and this has 180 milliliters while the full size is 48 for 100 milliliters so I don't know guys maybe the value in the product itself like would you would you want to spend it's a minor spending but still it's like it's a six it's a six dollar difference so I mean I guess you can be the judge of that being worth it or not I obviously I got the mini version of this one right now 
But I don't know, maybe I'll like it after I use it. Like, I already like it. I like it a lot. It's a very great setting spray. I absolutely like it. And it made my makeup look super beautiful. But I need to test it out longer to see what I really think of it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you like videos like this where I come test out hyped products with newer products that are, like, also hype right now, uh, and me comparing the two for a long period of time, then like this video because I will definitely, I want to test out more products where I'm combining, sorry, where I'm comparing the two or three or whatever we're testing and wearing them for a long period of time. So please like this video below because I'd love to do videos like this. And also subscribe because we're going to have tons, tons of fun, crazy fun videos this new year. I wanted to also say happy new years, happy 2022. Oh my goodness. Like who else is in 2020 right now and thinking like, I, like, I think my mind is still there because what happened in between? We don't know. Like, we're, we're on a lockdown again right now. And it's like, I don't know. Is there an end? I mean, is there a good end? That is, I don't want a bad end. But is there a good end? Because I just feel like it's never ending. But hopefully 2022, we're thinking positive. We're thinking good vibes. We're going to bring in the fun videos on this channel. So please subscribe. Uh, if you want me to compare any other items, I would love to compare them. So please comment below. But anyways, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>